Greetings, everyone. So on my uh, continuing efforts to um, to make some videos of some non-English games, of some games which are not well known, mainly because they were never translated into English, today I'm taking a look at a game called Dracia History, uh, which is... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's basically Czech for Dragon Story or Dragon History. Uh, so this is a nice little game, which, as you can see, comes from oldgames.sk, which is actually a uh, Slovak site, not a Czech site, but they have several Czech games because most Slovak people speak Czech. Um, I'm not going to be able to say very much about this game, and I'm not going to be able to play the game very much because it happens that I don't speak Czech. So a couple of months ago when I uh, mentioned that I wanted to do some non-English games, uh, I did sort of uh, hope that maybe there would be some people who wanted to contribute uh, joint Let's Plays or kind of come along and do some videos together who maybe spoke these languages and who could translate them as we play, play along. Uh, I don't know, that might still happen, but as it is... Uh, I'm going to go ahead, because I did want to feature some games that have Slavic languages in them, because those are quite underrepresented in uh, in computer games. So here we go. Here is a game that is uh, entirely in Czech, and I'm not going to be able to understand most of it, and that's... Well, that's okay, because it's a graphic adventure, so we can just look at the pretty graphics. Uh, the one thing you do want to note here, this is pretty much just basic DOSBox information, the one thing which is relevant is that line at the bottom, well, not the one that says press any key, but I guess that's relevant as well. But I mean, the one right above that, which says uh, uh, That basically, I did translate that. It says something like, to make the dragon walk faster, press Q. That is very relevant because you will soon see the dragon walks very slowly if you don't press Q. Let's go ahead and start playing Dracia Historia. So here's a very nice uh, sort of company logo kind of thing happening. I have to admit, I don't think that I would uh, quite have the guts to start a software company called No Sense. I think that they uh, they must have had some uh, some hubris to uh, start a company with that name. And there's a cute little opening sequence which happens here, and. I don't know why this happens to me, but on my copy of the game, the animation runs inordinately slowly. You can see that this this is proceeding at something like one frame a second. It's it's a little bit absurd. I'm pretty sure that curtain isn't supposed to be getting pulled back that slowly. Bula jedna pochadkova zemje. That probably means something like this is a forest. Oh, here comes a bird. Oh, and there came a snake that ate the bird. Because that's what happens in forests. I don't know what that means. Maybe it means a snake ate a bird. That's right. That's very true. Anebo vodz jetsnie. That's right. It's true that you know you have to be careful about that anuba because sometimes it'll just vubetsnie. Aha, bula taki jedna civilizovana draci rodina. So this is obviously the dragon family. The uh, dragon in the back and the white wife beater is presumably supposed to be the father. I'm going to assume that uh, the dragon in the lipstick with the red dress is the mother, and then that little guy at the bottom is obviously the kid, and he's our player character. Otietz Herbert, okay, the father's named Herbert, Matka Berta, the mother's named Berta, and was that saying that the little one is named Bert? I don't know. Nebuli Totakovi Traci. Something about dragons, I assume, since I believe Drachi is dragon. Aha, jakie znamy za hroza strasznych wyprawieni. Yes, that is uh, relevant information. That's that's good to know. 
O, ti to? Ti to dračni vozonali, tradični, rodini, hodotno. That's, that's also true. Yes, this is, uh, this is very good dragon history. I'm very glad that we're being, uh, uh, we're being informed by all this dragon history that's happening, which would go a lot faster if the game didn't run so slowly on, on, on the, this computer for some reason. Um, the Bali na hygienu, something about hygiene. I wonder if dragons have good hygiene. It's very possible that uh, the dragons may have personal challenges with, uh, with personal hygiene. Uh, in a stare draci uh, something about old dragons, I guess, because I believe that stare means old. I don't speak Czech, but, um, I do speak a little bit of Russian, and so, uh, some of the words I can pick out just by analogy with, uh, what they mean in Russian, so that probably said something about old dragons or an old dragon. Oh dear, what's happening? Oh, I guess that's them smiling for a photograph. And there we go, that's the title card. Draci Historia. And I think now might be a good time to skip ahead. Is this title text just going to keep dancing back and forth? I assume at some point in time something else is going to happen, but you know, I'm just going to skip this because that's just way too long. Okay, here we go. This is where the game starts. So yeah, that's our player character there, the little green dragon. He's talking to us and saying, That's right. So, oops. Okay, let's go ahead and start playing the game. So it's a fairly standard point-and-click adventure game. You click somewhere and the dragon walks there. But notice that he moves inordinately slowly. He moves with the speed of... Um, I don't think even crawling it would quite do it justice because I'm pretty sure I could crawl much faster than this. Uh, I really have no idea why they would even put in the option of making him walk that slowly. But remember when I said uh, pressing Q makes him walk faster? Let's go ahead and have him walk over here and while he's walking I'll press Q and see what a difference it makes. I don't know why you would even make that an option in the game. Why not just make him walk at this speed by default? Because nobody in the world, the, the slowest person in the world, would not want him to walk as slowly as he was walking before. It's kind of, it's almost ridiculous to even make that an option. Just, I don't know. I am probably taking this game too seriously. So up in the tree there is a Suva, and he's uh, blinking at us very slowly, as Suvas do. So basically, the way that the game works, there's no um, there's no icon bar. You don't have cursors for walk, look, uh, interact, talk to. Basically, the game just uses the two mouse buttons. So when you mouse over something like this piece of paper or that bird, pressing the left mouse button is look at. I think pretty much universally the left mouse button means look at something. So if you want to look at the bird... Uh, Is the game going to say something about the bird, or is it just... Oh, and the bird decides to fly towards the camera very slowly. Whoa! Whoa, that was... Okay. Well, I did try to look at the bird, and I guess that was what I got. We did get a closer look at the bird, so I guess I got what I asked for. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this... Uh, Absolutely ne de papier. I'm going to assume that the last word is paper which contextually makes sense, since that appears to be a paper on the tree. Aha! Nibudu jest špinavuma rukama! Yes, that's, uh... Uh-oh, the text goes on. Budu lachatne dvakrit... Oh, oh dear. Oh, he's telling us a dramatic dragon history about the paper now. Nibudu zeprat sabšlimi sabšlimi Wow! Wow, he has a lot to say about this paper. Wow, he gets very excited about the rožodnje. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was a revelation. Okay, so yeah, so clicking the left mouse button on something looks at it, and clicking the right mouse button is for everything else. So clicking the right mouse button on an object will usually try to look at the object. Oh, here's a dutina. Let's look at the dutina. To je moje tajna skur skrush. Okay. So, uh, clicking the right mouse button on an object will usually try to interact with the object. Clicking the right mouse button on a uh, live character will usually talk to them. And that's pretty much it. That's all your uh, major 
uh, adventure actions combined into just two mouse buttons. So you don't need cursors. Uh, well, there's the basic cursor, but I mean, you don't need different uh, icons for uh, different actions. It all just hinges on the two mouse buttons. So if we click the right mouse button on this Dutina, does he try to do something with it? Apparently he does not. Apparently he just walks behind the tree. It's a logical thing to do. I tried to do something with the Dutina and he walks behind the tree. What if I try to do something with this paper? No, nope, he walks behind the tree. Okay, so besides uh, interacting with stuff, the right mouse button is also used to walk off the screen. So, for example, uh, from this screen we can go in two directions. Looks like we can go to the left, Namutinu, or we can go to the right, Hornitsesto. So, let's go to the... Uh, Sure, let's go to the horny cesto because me so horny. Uh, so if you, once again, if you click the left mouse button, uh, that's looking at it, and he usually just tells you something about that direction, like here he says, horny nebo dolni. And if you right click, click the right mouse button, then he walks in that direction, and we get to a new screen. I'm like a dragon in heat because me so horny. Okay, uh, so let's take a look around here. There's a yezek on the ground. What is that? Oh, it's Toho Nehutim. That's uh, good to know. What if we right click on it? No, nope, it just walks to it. Okay, let's see. We can go back to Kestromo Sidutinu, or we can go deeper into the forest. We can go Potsistie. Is that hedgehog rolling away or something? Or is he walking away? I can't really tell. Okay, let's go Potsistie. So let's click the right mouse button, and that takes us over here. Oh boy. Oh look, there's a, a snake in the uh, in the tree. Maybe it's that same snake that ate that bird that was in the uh, opening screen. It's a it's a haditze. Look, there's a haditze in the tree. Whoa! If you try to look at it, it hisses at you. I guess we're relatives because I'm a dragon and he's a snake, so they're kind of distantly related, aren't they? What if you try to interact with the haditze? No, that doesn't do anything. But if you try to look at it, he he hisses at you. I guess that's all he does. Okay, let's go to Vencelesa. Oh, oh, this is interesting. It's a, uh, it's a house. Let's see. Let's look at the. Uh, let's look at, well, let's, first let's look at this Pristavec over here. Whoa, Yetutma! You are so right. Yetutma, indeed. Okay, let's go inside the uh, inside the house. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a guy. Sleep, is he asleep or is he just resting? Oh, and I think usually when you can interact with something, the cursor turns uh, red or, well, it, it gets a red outline. Like, see, if I try to, if I mouse over this guy now, the cursor has a red outline around it. So if I right click on him, I should be able to talk to him. Oh, that, uh, oh, this machine is shooting some sort of food or something into his mouth. Okay, let's talk to, uh, Legitsi? There we go. You see Bert! I assume that means my name is Bert. Okay, so Bert is introducing himself and the rest probably says something like, what's your name? Uh... I don't know what, uh, what this gentleman is saying, but I'm sure that he's telling us all the answers to all the mysteries of life. If only we spoke his language to understand what he was saying. Okay. Oh, and you get you get these sort of conversation trees where you can talk to people. Uh, I don't know what any of these say, so I have no idea what I should click on. Okay, let's just do them in order. Uh, come on. Wow, these conversations go on for a while. Whoa. Uh, if I click on the last one, will that exit me out of here? No, it did not. Wow. I'm sure that all of this conversation would be very interesting if, if I understood it. But... Wow. Okay. Um, so this is a machine of some kind. <laughs> oh, it's a Stroina Litani Boucher. I wonder if that's related to a trebuchet. It's like a food trebuchet. It it catapults the food into that guy's mouth. See that he's about to... Oh, that time it missed. It shot out the window instead. 
Okay. All right, let's 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 get out of here. I'd like to continue talking to this gentleman, but uh, unfortunately, I don't understand him. Let's go Dolesa. Uh, so besides walking around like this, if you press the M key, you get a map. M for map, that seems pretty reasonable. And places where you've been will show up on the map, just like that place is uh, right now. And again, because this is some kind of animation in the game, it's happening very slowly. All the animation in the game happens extremely slowly. Uh, but that thing in the middle is... Actually, I'm not sure where that is. Um, but that's somewhere, and then the place off to the right is probably... Yeah, I think that place that's appearing now on the right-hand side at the base of the mountains, that's probably the house of the resting man that we just saw. And in a moment... Okay, now I can mouse over these. So this is... Uh, oh, Draci Domek. I, I believe that means Dragon's House. And this is probably where we started the game. And then this is probably the... Yeah, the house of that uh, that guy that we were just speaking with. So I think if I click on, for example, the Dragon House... Oh, that's probably him describing it, but if I, if I right-click on it... Yeah, we go there. Here we go. This is the Dragon's House. So here's the door, and if I click on it... I think he's just saying it's a door, so what? Okay, let's go ahead and open the door. Sledutje. Sledutje, that means... That means next, doesn't it? Sledutje stancije, gostini dvor. Okay, let's go inside the house. Very slowly. Wow, look at look at Bert. He's giving us the thumbs up because he, he managed to open the front door to his house. That was a lot of work. He, he's very proud of himself now. Okay, here we are. We're back home. And this is our mom, Berta. And she's... Looks like she's cooking something, I assume, I guess. If we look at her... Moyamati. Okay, that I do. That obviously means my mother. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to uh, to Berta, our mother. Mommy, something is being communicated from me to you right now. Okay. Oh, we got another conversation tree. Um, I remember that one time when I clicked on random stuff here, I ended up getting a knife. Our mom actually gave us a knife that showed up in the inventory. Uh, oh, here we go. There it is. There's the knife. So, if you press I for inventory, yeah, your inventory pops up. And I think you can, yeah, you can drop stuff in the inventory, and I think you can pick it up by pressing the right mouse button. Yeah, there we go. And then if you click out of... Nope. Hold on. How do we... Uh... If you click the right mouse button, that picks up the knife, and then do I have to... Oh, you just mouse out of it. You just move the mouse cursor out of the uh, inventory uh, pouch or whatever, and then it... Uh, okay. Let's see. Can I use the knife on Mom? Can we stab our Mom? Oh, no. I clicked on the left mouse button. I need to... Uh, hold on. Why is it not... What? I'm pressing I, and it makes the inventory pop up for just a second, and then it disappears again. Why is that happening? Okay, finally managed to get the uh, the knife. Okay, so if I right-click on Mom, does this try to stab Mom? No, it does not. It doesn't do anything. Okay, never mind. Forget it. Uh, let's go ahead and walk outside and continue exploring. Uh, can I put this knife away? I guess I don't have to, but... Okay, let's see. If we go Vipravo... Oh, wait, there was actually something that... Oh! Oh, there is something that pops up at the bottom of the screen. I didn't even realize that. So, if you mouse... down here... Wait a minute. Now it's gone. I just had it a moment ago. There was something that showed up at the bottom of the screen, and now it's gone. How do I get it back? Oh, no. I solved the mystery. I, I briefly solved the mystery of how to make the menu bar appear at the bottom of the screen and now it's never going to come back again because I was a fool and I didn't take advantage of it when I had the chance. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. This is the, um... something. I don't know what this is. Let's go inside and find out. Maybe it's a, uh... Maybe it's a, uh... Oh, I guess it's a, uh... a bar? Or a restaurant? Or something? Now, why are these guys humans? These guys are clearly... 
humans drinking in the bar, are they not, uh, are they okay with anthropomorphic talking dragons existing among their midst? I guess this is a, uh, it's a multiracial, multiracial, multi-ethnic community where dragons live in peace and harmony among humans. And I guess they all speak Czech because that's the universal language of dragons and humans. It's the lingua franca that they use to talk to each other. Oh, okay, now this menu bar appears at the bottom again. What if I click on some of this stuff like that? Oh, that brings up the credits. That's nice. Oh, and I, oh, and I can actually scroll them. The credits scroll with the mouse. That's interesting. Okay. Well, that's nice. Uh, ah, Yabulko, that is an apple. That I know for sure is an apple. Budisi Chodit, okay. And I'm going to assume that guy's a comedian because it says he's a comedian. Can I talk to him? No, apparently not. How do I get rid of this apple now? Okay, there we go. Now let's try talking to the comedian. Pane Comediante! Uh, I don't know what he's saying, but I'm going to assume that he's not saying, yes, I am a comedian, thank you for noticing. Okay. Well, um, let's see, oh, here we can go to, uh, Namutinu. Oh, look, it's a, uh, it's a Kuzelnik. Raz dva, raz dva. Uh, that means one, two, one, two, but I'm not sure why he's saying it to the magician. That doesn't really seem to, uh... That doesn't really seem to contextually make much sense. Oh, why is he raising his arms? Is he going to cast a spell on us? Oh, no. I guess he was just stretching his arms. His arms got tired and needed a rest, so he just kind of stretched them out in front of him. Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea what, what our character is saying. Oh, something about schizophrenia. <laughs> Schizophrenia, okay, maybe this, uh, maybe this magician is schizophrenic, that's why he thinks he's a magician. I guess that makes sense. Okay, let's run away from him and come up here to Tootie. Oh, what's this? It's a troll, with only one L. Let's look at the, uh, at the troll. Mm-hmm, Pekna Masa, that's right. Okay, let's talk to the troll. Will he talk to us? Hi, my name's Bert. And I think that's him saying his name is Rohoven Tverohi. And yeah, and he's saying I'm a troll. Okay. That's nice. Uh, I think we already realized that, but gosh. Uh I don't know, I don't want I don't want to insult this troll, but okay. Did something just fly into the ground there? It looks like a bird just flew into the ground and and became dizzy, but now it's flying away again. Okay. I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. Oh, this goes to a bridge. Yeah, Kamostu. Oh, look, it's a it's a bridge troll with a... Actually, it's it's a painted wooden cutout of a bridge troll holding a stop sign. Uh... Yezidreva. I guess, uh... I guess the troll got lazy and so he decided to just sit under a tree and put this wooden cutout to prevent people from trying to cross the bridge because he assumed that nobody would figure out that clever ruse. And if you come over here... Oh, it's uh, another house. Let's see, can we go... Oh, this goes back to the dragon's house, I think. Yeah, okay, so if we go left from here, let's try going inside this house and see what's uh, what's inside here. Come on. Can I not open the door? I don't know. Either he's saying the door is locked, or that he's, uh... Yakto? Oh no! It's Yakto the door! My arch nemesis! Okay, um... I really have no idea what I'm doing, and I think that we've probably seen most of the screens, at least in this first area of the game, so I should probably stop here before I make more of a fool of myself. Uh, thank you for coming along with me on a very brief look at Dracia Storia, everyone. Um, I still do want to make some more games that are not in English, 
but uh, I sort of run into the problem that I don't speak any other languages except English and a little bit of German. So in the future, I'm probably going to make some more videos of German language games, just because that's the only other language that I can really make any sense of. Um, I'd love to feature games in other languages, but I just, I, I'm going to run into this problem that I really have no idea what's going on, unless the game makes minimal use of language, in which case there's really not much point, because it's pretty much, uh, I mean, there are a lot of arcade games and things like that, which you can uh, play in foreign languages, because they don't really make much use of text or language at all, but there's really not much point in me highlighting those games. What I want to do is highlight games that are kind of inaccessible, specifically because of their language barriers. So, um... I think I definitely did that today, because I really can't make heads or tails of anything that happened in this video. So, uh, thanks for watching everyone. In the future, I'm probably going to be uh, just doing uh, English and German games. Um, again, just for the simple reason that those are the only languages I'll be able to, to understand and translate for anyone. So, um, again, if anybody uh, speaks... Uh, Czech or, or any other language like that and you know of a good game that you'd like to uh, to recommend and if you want to maybe help out with some translating uh, let me know. Otherwise uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to be doing uh, like I said, just English and German games in the future. So, alright everyone I'll go ahead and stop here. Bert the Dragon needs a rest because he's uh, he's been very patient and during my uh, my foolish mockery of uh, trying to pronounce Czech. I hope that you folks have uh, been at least mildly entertained by some of this. I will talk to you folks later. Bye-bye for now.